Welcome back, guys. So in this video, we're going to be talking about another concept, which is abstraction, right? Uh, we just finished discussing about encapsulation, inheritance, polymorphism. So this is going to be one of the last topic in the OOPS concept, which is the abstraction. Uh, so in abstraction, uh, what that means is if we create an abstract class, the only thing that means that we cannot create objects of that abstract, of that abstract class. Now, what does that mean, right? Let's go ahead and create a new package first. And let's just call it abstraction. And in here, let's say I created a, a cat class, right? I have a cat class and then I have a, let's say, a dot class. Right. Or I actually don't even need that. I don't even need that dot class, but let me just refactor it. Let's just call it animal. Yeah, let's just call it animal.java. Yeah, that's right. <clears throat> so in this cat class that we have over here, right? In this cat class, normally what you can do over here is we can create various um we can we can create various uh methods, right? We can create various methods and and, and whatnot. And and so let's say public class cat. Uh, actually, let me actually create a main. Let me create a main class as well. Uh, let me just call it main abstraction. Uh, it'd be str main abstraction. Do this, right? Again, I have this. So. If I wanted to create an, a cat object, and normally this is what we do. If I want to create a cat object, the only thing I would do is cat, cat equals new cat, right? Generally, this is how we would create an object. Now, with an abstraction class, we are not able to create an object like this, right? And what I mean by that here, just to uh, show you guys, so on the left side, I have this. On the right side, if you keep your eye out on the right side, for this cat class over here, if I was to just change this, right? See, right now I have this red. It is, it's saying cannot insta instantiate the type cat. It's because I have this specific keyword cat. I have this specific keyword abstract. And that again, that's how you basically create an abstract class is by specifically just saying that word abstract. Now, you may be thinking, you know, so why do we even need <clears throat> to use abstract class in that case, right? I mean, it makes sense, uh, absolutely. So in this case, let's say we have this animal, right? We have this animal class, and let's say we are extending it. Extends animal, right? Everything is good so far. And in this animal class, let's say we have a couple of different... Um, a couple of different things, right? Let's say we have, uh, let's say we actually created a, a method, right? Let's say we actually created a, a method, um, public void, uh, I don't know, noise. I think that's a sound, it's this, or sound, I think that's what, that's what we had last time, right? Sound. Now, Right now, it is not recommend. It is not a, a requirement that cat must implement that thing. Right? I have no issues over here. It is not absolutely re uh, required that I have to have that. But what I can do, right here, let me just actually bring all those things together again. There you go. So it is not. It is not an absolute requirement. Right? It's because again, I can have this. Let me just uh, open this on the side by side. So anyway, I have this cat, which is extending. Now, it is not giving me issues, but if I just use this keyword abstract over here, and I have this, right? Okay. If I have this, and again, the reason I need this abstract is because I want to also make this method abstract as well. If I don't have a method abstract, if if I don't have the class as abstract, I will not be able to create any abstract method over here. 
So what I mean by that is um, this, this class is, this cat class is that abstract, right? So if I was to create, let's say, a public void, let's say I also created another one called sound, right? This is, again, this is fine. But if I was to create an abstract method, it doesn't let me do that. I'm not able to do that. It's it just throws an error. It's it's considered there. It says remove abstract, uh, remove abstract modifier and 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 whatnot. Make type cat extract. So if I want to this cat, if I want to make this an abstract method, I have to change this to an abstract class in order to make that happen. So I'm not able to create abstract class within a regular class. So this abstract by having that, I can create abstract method. And again, with the abstract method, what that is, I don't really have to implement anything. Okay. There is, I don't have to put the curly braces or anything like that. I don't, that is not a requirement. I can just take the thing out and that's it. This, I'll just have this. So I'll just have this method created over here. What that means is that I have to now, now I see, you see that I have this error message over here. Reason is, reason being is because what this abstract is doing by creating an abstract class, I can create abstract methods. And by creating abstract methods, whatever class actually extends this specific animal class, they have to implement this specific method. It is a requirement. It is not optional anymore. It is mandatory. So it says add unimplemented method, right? I can just do that uh, again because you know uh, Eclipse already gave that gave that option. So if I just do this, as you can see, it just over it just overrode that thing. I mean, on the last lesson we talked about overriding and overloading, right? It just overloaded that thing. Public void sound. Now I can create whatever thing I want, right? <clears throat> I can I can uh, s out. Right, I can say meow. Now, same thing, right? Again, I can extend animal over here, right? That's just, that's that's great. Now, uh, hopefully this makes sense so far to you guys. And obviously, you know, I have this, uh, which is cat cat. Now, if I just want to do cat dot, and you know, we have sound. And if I was to run this thing. It gives me a right, so it is working. It is working properly. So after this, right after this, we have another keyword, which is also which is called um, interface. Now, I mean, this is a very very common interview question as well. What is the difference between interface and abstraction? So we will talk about this right now as well. Okay, so we have animal, cat, and the main abstraction. So let's go ahead and create new an interface, right? Let's go ahead and create an interface. So interface is, you have the option. So just like class, we have another option called interface. So this interface, and let's just say animal interface. It's, yeah, I'll just leave it at that. Interface, the reason you don't need the keyword interface, the reason I put that there so it's easy to understand. That's all. So let's go ahead and put this. So this animal interface, right? The only thing with the interface is that you have to have, it, it just has this word interface in there. Same thing with the abstract, right? It just has that keyword abstract in there. The thing with the interface is that by default, anything Anything that we create within a, within an interface, it is assumed to be abstract. Okay, so let me just refresh that again. Anything anything we put in in an interface by default, it is assumed to be already in abstract, right? So in here, just like in here, I have public abstract class uh, this, but I can I don't really need to create everything as abstract method, right? I can create a regular one, public, uh, public static void, uh, my cat, 
right? I can I can I can have this and I can say as out uh my cat, right? I can I can have this and this is perfectly okay. This is not this is not something I have to implement in the cat class, right? It is only it is only the abstract method that I have, right? So this is um abstract method, and this is a regular method. Okay, so this must be implemented. Uh, you know, whenever they use the word extend. This must be implemented, but the other one, this one, this regular method, it doesn't have to be. Whereas with an interface, everything is considered to be abstract. This specific abstract, everything is considered to be abstract. So we have to, uh, we we have to use that. Okay. <clears throat> so, so let's say we have this public abstract void sound, right? So we don't need to put public abstract. We don't need to say public abstract void. Uh, uh, let's say animal, animal type, right? We don't need to say that. We don't need to say the word abstract. It's even if we leave it like this, this is still fine. And how we actually implement this animal interface or interfaces in general, how we actually implement it by this, by using the keyword implements, oops, animal interface. Okay. And one of the key things to know to our to understand is that we can extend, we can extend only one class but we can implement multiple interfaces, okay? We can have interface, let's say interface one, interface two, interface three. Um, here, if I was to create more interfaces, let's say animal interface two, right? I can, I can go to this cat, this, and then I can have okay. I can have this, but I cannot have uh to add here yeah, added again. The the reason it gave me that is because I have uh, this animal type over here, so I needed to add that animal type again. Again, just keep a note, I don't have that abstract keyword over here, right? But it still asks me, otherwise it was just giving me that issues. It was giving me error that I needed to implement it. Um, again, this is how you'd, you would implement it. This extend, right, animal, I cannot have another one that says, you know, that that's that's like something else. I cannot have that. It, it just throws an error altogether. I can extend one time. I don't even need this extend. If I don't want to, I can just take it out and this will still be fine. But but again, right now, this sound is not showing up. It's because, again, I have this sound over here as abstract um, and, and I don't have that input. Uh, and it, it doesn't know where it's coming from. Right? It doesn't know where it's coming from. So it's asking to create either create a sound over here or over there I can also take this thing out override and that should that'll just give that away that that that'll that'll be fine so if I use that word override in that case I can I have to use it and if I was to go back to extend animal in that case you know obviously this is fine because I already that's the abstract method is already there but if I take that thing out, now it's saying add in that um in unimplemented method, which is the sound, which is this. <clears throat> so yeah, hopefully this makes sense to you guys. And 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 again, just just know the key difference. In an abstract method, right? In an abstract method, we have to say public abstract animal 
uh, or public abstract, you know, whatever the class name is. And with the abstract method, we specifically, specifically have to use the keyword abstract. And what that means is that this method must be implemented. It's, it is not an optional, it is not an optional thing. It must be implemented. Whereas with an interface, every, anything, anything that is typed on the interface by default, it is considered, it is considered that they're all abstract. And another thing is if we, um, let's say we created some, uh, let's say string name, right? If we created, if we created something like this, or we created int age, something like that, by default, all of these variables, they are considered static and final, meaning we cannot make any changes to this. So, and they have to be initiated, right? So if I say name equals, let's say Peter, right? And age equals two, this is how it's gonna be throughout. I cannot change this value because these are final, okay? In, in an interface, these variables, these are considered final, okay? Variables in interface is considered static and final, okay? And by default, all methods are considered abstract, okay? So that's just by default. So yeah, hopefully this makes sense to you guys. Uh, do practice. If you do have any questions, please do comment below. But this is basically what it is. Um, again, you, with the with with the abstract method that or abstract class, you can have it. You can only extend it one time. But whenever you have imp, whenever you have interfaces of classes, in that case, you can implement it multiple times. You can have all. There's no limit. You can implement as many. Uh, as many as you want. There's no difference. <clears throat> but yeah, that's it for this video, guys. If you do have any questions, please do let me know. And yeah, uh, thank you so much, guys. Have a good day.